Okay, so the next part is we're going to look at the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary gland relationship here. So essentially, we saw that the hypothalamus makes some hormones that get secreted out of the posterior pituitary gland. But then there's also some neurosecretory cells here that are going to help make hormones that actually get secreted into the directly into the bloodstream. So these cells are also neurosecretory cells. Okay, they're going to make two types of hormones. One is a releasing hormone, also known as RH hormones, and the other one is inhibiting hormones. Those are IH hormones, okay? So essentially what's going to happen is you have some sort of a stimulus, what is that stimulus? It's gonna vary depending on what releasing hormone or inhibiting hormone is told to be released by the hypothalamus, okay? So essentially what's gonna happen is one of these neurosecretory cells is stimulated to cause a hormone to get put into or secreted into the bloodstream. And in this case, the bloodstream here is gonna be the hypophysial portal vein. So essentially, you can have an RH hormone. Let me erase that color. It's kind of hard to see that color. So we can have an RH hormone. Ooh, that's also that's also really rough. Or an IH hormone. Ooh. It's trusty black. Okay, RH or IH here. So these hormones are gonna be stimulated to be released, not, simultane not simultaneously, based on whatever the stimulus is, okay? What is that stimulus? That stimulus is gonna vary from one hormone to another hormone. The RH and the IH hormones go into the hypophysial portal vein, and the hypophysial portal vein is going to transport them to the anterior pituitary gland, okay? Once they reach the anterior pituitary gland, essentially, the effect is to cause the anterior pituitary gland to release or stop releasing a hormone. Okay, so this is why both of these, they have one target, and that is the anterior pituitary gland. Their effects are going to differ. Okay, sorry, this is the way direction I'm drawing it. I didn't really think about this before I started. So here, the RH hormones tell the anterior pituitary gland to release a hormone. So the anterior pituitary gland releases hormones. Which hormone? Depends on what the RH is. If it's an IH hormone, the anterior pituitary gland stops releasing hormones. Okay, so this is why the only stimulus for the anterior pituitary gland is hormonal. A hormone in either an RH hormone or an IH hormone will actually tell the anterior pituitary gland specifically what to do, okay? So what are these anterior pituitary gland hormones? There's a lot of them. There's seven of them, okay? That means there has to be, you know, maybe upwards of seven RH hormones or sometimes there's less because gonadotropins only has one, but that's besides the point. Anyway. So we're going to do look at what happens when you stimulate the anterior pituitary gland to release a hormone. Okay, so remember, RH hormones go into the hypophysial portal vein. IH hormones go into the hypophysial portal vein. They target the anterior pituitary gland, and then the anterior pituitary gland either releases a hormone into the cavernous sinus, or it's going to stop right? Like you put extra, or it's going to stop releasing a hormone through the cavernous sinus. And then each anterior pituitary gland hormone is essentially going to have its own targets and their own specific effects. So let's look at that in a separate, hopefully small video, but that might be big. Okay.